How are we doing everybody? We're back now for week 12 of our current Pilates block. Uh, we're well through June now at this stage. Uh, hopefully everybody's keeping well and still working hard. We've got school work to keep us tipping along for the last couple of weeks and then we've got a nice long summer break uh, from there. So for today, again, just starting with the remobilization series, a wee bit of uh, combining the balance work and the leg work for, for today and then just our main uh, exercises from there. Okay, so from there then we're going to lay ourselves down onto the floor and then from here before we start just make sure we have our wee props or our toilet roll and our wee belt or tie then uh, just to help with our line. Okay, so from there we're just laying ourselves down onto the mat and then feet and knees at hip width and then just a wee gentle bit of pressure onto the stomach placing an imaginary apple between your chin and your chest and then hands out to the side, shoulders resting into the mat, and then we're going to rock the knees from side to side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then back to the middle. And then hug the knees into the chest, just circle that lower back into the floor. Just trying to free everything up, and then opposite direction. And then back to the middle, and then head and shoulders lifted off the floor. Hug the right knee in, extend the opposite leg out, and then change for seven, and for six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then bring both legs up to your tabletop position, hands onto your hamstrings, relax the shoulders, and then we're a bit of rocking motion, just rock, rocking forward or back. Again, just trying to mobilize the spine, trying to keep that right angle position in the leg, not allowing your feet to touch the floor, we go for another three and two, last one we're all the way up and then just shift the heads back, bring the feet back towards you, hands out to the side and then we rock the knees from side to side just to get that wee twist into the obliques and open up the hips. And then from there we'll yourself over onto all fours and then just step in the hands forward, push yourself back onto your heels for four, inhale as we come forward. Push back for three, trying to get that lower back just nice and loose. And for two, and forward, and the last one. And release. Then hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, curl the toes under, and then walk the hands back towards the feet, tuck the chin to the chest, heels to the floor, and then slowly rebend your spine all the way back up to standing with your head and shoulders elastic come up. Take a breath out at the top. Shake the chest, just pull that thigh up and back towards the spine as the hands come over the knees, bring them out over the toes. Nice soft spine, inhale, exhale, straighten the legs out first. And then all the way back up, and then once we come up this time, just we float up off the heels, and lower down. And up for two, and lower down. This time bring the hands up just slightly above shoulder height for three, and lower, four, and lower, two more, five, and lower, and last one, and lower down, and then just shake the legs out, and then just a wee float from side to side, and then back to the middle, and then just a wee rock of the hips, and release, and then there are core activations, so tighten that belt as tight as you can around your waist, and then release it with the third notch in your belt, and then just your neutral spine, so your headlights with your, your two hip bones sticking out, so point your headlights down, feel that sort of arch in the lower back, and then point the headlights up, we bit more pressure across the front. And then back to the centre, where you have your nice neutral spine. So taking the pressure off here and off here, and trying to keep that through all of our movements. Okay, so first movement for uh, today is our heel raise squat. So we're going to combine both the balance, certain amount of balance here as well. You want to be focusing on the position of your chest. If we go too low, our chest is just going to go forward, and you're going to lose that wee bit of control. Okay, so. What I want you to focus on here is not allowing your knees to fall out, trying to keep your knees just directly over your toes, and then as we come down, it's nearly as if you're sliding your shoulders down a wall. So if I'm coming down here, your shoulders all stay in contact with that wall behind. So the middle movement from here, okay? So for this, we're gonna use our prop, and all that's gonna do is give us a wee bit of focus, we've got something to concentrate on in order to keep that slowness in the movement, okay? So our first, I'll show you just a demonstration first. So I'm going to come all the way up off my heels, just make sure my feet are hip width apart, and then I'm going to come down halfway. I'm going to keep that position of the heels, I'm going to keep my heel raised, and then I'm going to zip and drop my knees forward, and then just sliding my shoulders down the wall. So what happens here, people go too low, 
and then this starts to happen. Try and keep that straightness in the back. We're going to hold and then we're going to come up nice and slowly. We're going to feed that across the front of our quads. Okay? So from here, just holding the, the, your crop in front of your chest bone and then we're going to come all the way up off our heels as high as we can and then hover down your halfway. Pulling your stomach back towards your spine and then we're going to drop the knees forward as if they're coming over the toes. Just slide, slide, slide. And wherever your position is, to keep that stability and hold. So you feed everything coming into the front of the thighs and then all the way back up and then release the heels down. And then up for two, as high as we can, over the heels back down. And then remember, keep those shoulders back. Make sure the knees haven't fallen out. So it's nearly as if you're holding another trial roll in between the knees. Hold that lower position, nice and concentrated. And then all the way back up and release. You can feel that work into the ankle as well. Up for three, over down, halfway. And then slide those shoulders back. So when I'm doing that, I'm feeling my belly button being pulled back towards the spine in order to be able to keep my control. And then slowly all the way up. And then lower down, and then with one more to do. And then hover the heels halfway down. Don't let those ankles roll out. And then we're gonna slide the shoulders down that wall. Remember, we're not rolling forward. Go to that point where you can maintain that control. And then nice and concentrated, we're gonna reach the arms out for three. And slowly back in. So you feel that extra work into the quads once we add the movement. Two, and back in, and one, hold the arms out, stay nice and strong, quads are burning at this stage, bring the back lift, prop in, and then we're up three, two, and one, and then we start, and then shaking everything out, it just sort of shows when you lift the heat off, take away that support, you can really add a wee bit of pressure to the front of the quads. From there then we're going to come down onto the floor, so we're going to go with our Leg quad prone for today, so basically our straight arm plank. Uh, we'll give you two options here. Option one is going to be a wee bit easier, option two is going to be a wee bit uh, harder, and then with option two only, we're going to add a progression. Okay, so our start position hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and knees and hip width apart. Okay, so keeping everything engaged, keep that lower back nice and flat. So option one and option two start in the same way. So we're Going to go to here, if that's too much for you, for option one, just drop the knees down and cross the legs over. So don't let the hips go to here or back to here. Try and keep that sort of ski slope position. Option two, we're going to stay in that straight leg position. Okay? So setting yourself up, we're going to inhale, exhale, right leg back, keep the feet of hip width once they come back, and then to here. Just a wee slight lower of the hips, tuck your head legs up towards your elbows and just hold. So make sure we're keeping that sort of good stability and even spread a weight across the front of the chest. If you want a wee bit more, bring the weight into your left foot, hover the right foot up, and lower down. And then shift over to the opposite side. Make sure your hips don't go, and lower down. Make sure you haven't lost your neutral spine. Right leg again, and lower. If we're going to option one, just hold. And left, and lower. And left again, and lower. If the lift's too much, just hold that position. And lower, and then stay for another four, three, two, and one. Knees to the floor, and then first back on the feet. Just stretch out that lower back, and then bring yourself up, and then just roll the wrist out. Okay, so that was a wee bit more difficult, especially when we're lifting the foot off the floor, but we're trying to progress from where we were in previous weeks. Okay, next one, then we're going to go with a shoulder bridge, and we're going to go for a full version uh, today. So with our full version, once we lift up, heels are off, we're going to go on to one leg. Imagine basically your leg like a big paintbrush. So we're going to lift towards the ceiling, sweep forward, so a nice big long stroke with your paintbrush, lift, and then back to the floor, and then we do the same on the opposite side. Okay? So we'll give you a quick demonstration, and then we come through again. So we'll just give you the demonstration on one side. So hands down by your side, and then we're going to inhale, remember we're peeling our spine up off the floor, and then you shuffle the heels back for a nice controlled lift. And then from here, extend that right leg out. So we're going to lift, sweep to the floor, lift to the ceiling, back to the floor, and then we do it the opposite side. And then we're going to lay everything down, pubic bone back towards you, tail bone tucked underneath. Okay? So, setting yourself up, ready to go. And then we're going to inhale, exhale as we peel ourselves all the way up to the ceiling. 
Right leg to the ceiling, straight leg. We're going to inhale, exhale, back to the floor. Keep those hips lifted. So you're going to lift, sweep, lift, back to the floor. One more each side. Lift and sweep. Make sure the hips don't lower and lower down. Last one. Lift, sweep, lift and lower. Inhale as you lift the hips up. Exhale, lay the spine all the way back down. Bring that mobility into the spine. Inhale at the bottom, exhale as you peel yourselves up again, and then weight into the left leg, or to lift the right leg, sweep, lift, and back to the floor. Opposite leg, lift, sweep, lift, and lower, keep those hips nice and steady, right leg again, lift, and sweep, lift, and lower, last time, lift, and sweep, lift, and lower, inhale as you lift. Exhale, all the way back down. One more to do. So you feel that nice stretch in the hamstrings as well. If you move that leg up and foot back and forward. Last time up. Right leg again to the ceiling. Lift and sweep. Lift and lower. Last time. Lift. Or other side, sorry. And back up. And then keep those hips lifted. Last time on the right. Lift. Sweep. Lift. And lower. Last one. Lift. And sweep. Lift. And lower, inhale as you lift the hips up, bring the arms back, and then exhale as you tip everything underneath, trying to be control, 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 as we lay the spine down on the floor, and then bring the hands forward. Well done, and then just poke the knees into the chest, and just a wee rock forward and back, and then bring yourself up. So nice wee bit of Greek work for that one. Next one then, we're going to work a wee bit on our oblique strength. So. From here then, wherever basically you can, you can be comfortable with your feet, if it's full foot on the floor or else on the heels, sometimes you can go full foot, the hips can be a bit tight. So we're going to, I'm going to go heels for this, but make sure we don't let the knees fall out. Okay, so actually we can use our prop just to keep the knees in position. So sitting up nice and tall on our sit bones. So I'm going to bring one hand for, or both arms forward. So one hand is going to come back and you're going to try and dip your elbow to the mat and then back up. Okay, so we're going to go alternate each side each time. So we're going to inhale from here, exhale down with the right, and lift up. So we don't have to go all the way to the mat. And with the left, and back up. And for three, keep that opposite shoulder and arm in position. And four, and back up. And five, and back up. So just that we gently touch. So go down as low to the mat as what you think can retain that control. If we go down too low, and there's too much of a shake, it basically lost that wee bit of control. One more each side. Down, and back up. And last one. And back up, and then go back a wee bit further. Hold, hold, pull everything back, and then we're coming up for four, three, two, and one. Bit and then just bring everything out. So the prop is good then just to basically allow us to keep a good position. Okay? And then from there, we're going to go with a straight leg lowers from this. So two options here. Option one, you can go just with your bent leg and tabletop, extend and lower the leg out. Or if you want to go straight leg. So the leg that stays straight, make sure that it doesn't move. Okay? So from here then, if we go, option one, I'll show you just from here. So option one, from your tabletop position, extend, lower, and then back in. We're going to go three, four one side, and then four the other. Option two then, we go from straight legs towards the ceiling. Okay, so pulling everything back. So, leg tabletop, so option one, or option two. So I'm going to keep my left leg straight, and in position. I'm going to go with the right leg, exhale for four, and back up. So the lower you go to the floor, the harder it is. Just go with what you can control. Two, and inhale back. And three, and back up. Don't let that stomach dome up. Pull everything down into the mat for four, and back up. Opposite side then. Inhale, exhale, four. So exhale on the hard part of the work. Inhale as we bring ourselves back up. Exhale, two. Inhale, back up. Keep that back through to the floor if you can. For three, and back up. If your lower back's coming off the floor too much, don't go as low as leg. And one. And back up, legs to tabletop, and then bring everything down. 
And then just a wee rock with the knees, from side to side. And then just tuck the knees in, and then just bring yourself back up. Okay? From here then we're going to go with our side bend. So we're basically bringing ourselves up to where our full version then, which we did, I think we did one of the weeks, where we're going to try and sort of build it up for the last two weeks. So this time we're going to go straight on, fingers pointed away from you, but we're going to keep the legs bent, okay? And then we're going to add a wee leg lift and start. So keep those heel or those rib cage, that rib cage lifted up off the floor. So from your chest nice and open, and imagine a hook connected to the top of your hip. And then we're going to inhale, exhale, we're going to reach across, keep those legs stacked, and then hover the hips down. Don't let the, the hips drop onto the floor. And then reach, inhale as we lower, hover and hold. And for three, and hover and hold. So brilliant to build up that stabilization into the shoulder. And four, and hover and hold. And five, and hover and hold. And last one of these six. And then we're going to keep that height, hand to the ceiling, top leg extended out. Make sure you get that leg. And then we're going to tap down for four and lift, three and lift, two and lift, last one and lift. Legs are stacked and then lower everything down to the floor. Well done. Again, huge amount of work just off. On that right hand side. So straight over to the opposite side then. If that was too much for you, just drop it down to the elbow. So, legs are stacked again, arms straight. So basically trying to create a wee equilateral triangle between your arm and your ribcage. Lifting everything up, chest open, opposite hand across the chest. We're going to inhale, exhale, we're going to reach across for six, hover and hold. So that nice stretch through that right oblique for five. Hover down, and four, and hover down, and three, and hover down. You're always going to have one side that's maybe stronger or more controlled than the other. And then two more, and hover down. Last one, and then keep that lift, hand to the ceiling, opposite leg out, lengthen through that toe, tap down for four, and lift. Three and lift, two and lift, one and lift, legs are stacked, and then bring everything all the way down. Well done. And then just round in the front, just knees out to the side, and then we rock from side to side. And then straighten out that leg, bring the opposite leg across, so left leg comes across, pull across with your right, push across with your left, and then just straighten up, nicely stretch into the top of the grip. And then release down. Opposite side, right leg comes across, pull across with the left, push across with the right. And then release out. And then just a wee rock again. Okay, and then from here we're going to go with our a tie or band, whatever, band, whatever you have. And we're going to add a wee bit of, sort of into our roll up. So adding a wee bit of movement. When we're moving our leg, our legs are going to start like in a 60 degree position, and we're going to try and keep them in that position. When we lift our leg, we're not lifting and straightening, we're just keeping it in that same position, so that'll keep the pressure off the lower back. So, from here, we're going to work ourselves into it. As we come back, we're tucking the pelvis underneath, so imagine you're just tuning a dial in a radio, and you're just coming under, pulling everything back from here. Don't let the shoulders roll, try and keep as much sort of open as open as you can. So, from our here then, we're going to inhale, exhale, we're going to come back, just keep the nicely soft elbow, Hold, and then all the way back up. And then exhale under for two. Again, don't allow your knees to fall out, don't let the legs straighten. Just hold that good control. And back up. If you're trying to work against gravity, gravity wants to pull you all the way back. Again, you're trying to maintain that good control. And back up. And for four. And back up, two more. And for five. And back up. And then for six, hold this lower position. We're going to lift the hands for three and lower. For two, you might be feeling that shake at this stage and lower. For one and lower. 
and then right leg lifted, keep that right leg up, left leg lifted. Hold nice and strong, try to keep as controlled as we can, keep everything nice and relaxed. So we're probably shaking at this stage. Three, two, one, heads are down, and then release forward. Now done. So just set this prop to the side, stones of the feet together, and then just pull yourself up over towards your toes. Just nicely stretch again the lower back and then in the inner run. So it's not. And then really set. Okay? Last one for today, folks, just our hundred. So we're going to start for our first two then, our legs are in tabletop. If you want a wee extension then we're going to bring the legs out to 45 degrees, but you don't have to go there. If that's, if the legs in tabletop are too much, just keep the feet on the floor. Okay? So, from here then, we're going to lay ourselves down, pull the stomach in towards the mat, relax the shoulders, right leg to tabletop, right knee back towards you, left leg back, both knees out over the hips, heels in line with the knees. Hover the hands off the floor, imagine you're being pulled down towards your mat, so you have to come up to this position. Relax the shoulders, and then from here, inhale for five feet, nice long arms, exhale for five. Inhale for five, pull everything down towards the mat, keep that good core control, exhale for five. You want a wee bit more, the to 45 degrees, up a wee bit further. Exhale for five. Inhale for five, exhale for five. Inhale five, Exhale five, inhale five, exhale for five beats. Inhale for five beats, exhale for five beats. Inhale for five beats, nearly there. Exhale for five beats. If you need to go back to the knees bent, that's okay. Last two, inhale for five beats. Exhale for five beats. Last one, inhale five, exhale five. Legs to the tabletop, and then bring everything back. Now done, and then just stretch the legs out, stretch the arms back overhead. Imagine you're being pulled to both sides of the room. Just get that nice stretch all the way through the body. And then hands are forward, knee comes up, and then roll yourself over, and then bring yourself up just to a leader position. So from here then, just stand, meet it up nice and tall, and then just bring yourself over to one side, opposite arm comes over, and then bring that arm back. Slide the opposite side, bring that arm over, bicep in your ear, and release, and then just a wee float from side to side. And then from here, just over onto our side legs on, up onto your heels, elbows inside the knees, palms to the floor. We're going to inhale and exhale, just roll yourself over. So your elbows take the weight of the body, and just support the legs. Imagine your tailbone being pulled away from the body just to stretch that lower back out and then just slightly reach the head forward. And then roll them back, elbows outside the knees, heels to the floor, and then rebuild everything back up. And then from here just a wee float from side to side. Can you help me mm -hmm. And then wrist, roll the wrists, shake everything out, and shake your arms out. Okay everybody, that's week 12 done, we're nearly there, we have two more weeks to go, I uh, hope everybody enjoys the, the rest of the week, stay nice and safe, Navy, Rogojilawa, Agus, Begi, Moe, Kenya, Amor.